Hey guys, got a little unboxing to do, I guess, with uh, the box of awesomeness. I had, uh, this is 5.30 seconds, or 3.30 seconds, or something like that, but uh, I had 3 sixteenths piece that was about 36 inches long that it got cut this is whatever 330 seconds it doesn't say got cut off <laughs> so I got some my steel cut 1095 that's all that's left this is my box of awesomeness there's a few This is just what it starts out as. This is a bushcraft knife. It's general purpose. Nice big handle. So you got good control of your blade. Got two of these. These are spoken for already. There's the other one. This is all done with a plasma cutter. I just take an angle grinder to that or or just um yeah, best probably be an angle grinder. Uh, I'll have to dig that choil out a little bit right there. It's supposed to be a choil. So I got two of those. And I got some little neck knives. These came out pretty good. And then let's just go right here. I got two of these. Um, I just had little pieces of scrap like this. Kind of reminds me of like a butter knife or something. So I just made use of uh, whatever space I had and draw on something I wouldn't normally make. And see what turns out of it. This is kind of more like a... Uh, uh, I don't know, a flaying knife. I guess you can call it. It's the it's the same style as this this handle right here. Two choils and then it tapers down to the point at the end. It's just harder to to see the choils because they're not really cut out the greatest. But it's a lot easier than using an angle grinder or something like that. So this one's pretty cool. I like this one. That one's gonna turn out pretty nice, I believe. This one's gonna be hidden tang. Clean that up. This is kind of the same start as the. I guess I'll, I'll call it a flaying knife, but it's got kind of a little recurve, and then for I don't know chopping. I'm gonna have to fix it up. That's supposed to be a chill right there. So a good kitchen knife for chopping carrots or something like that. <laughs> um, I got uh, two big game skinners. It'll total three. I have one that I haven't done yet. I haven't finished. That still hasn't been like uh, cleaned up. And then I have one more that's still, that needs handle scales. And I have the scales in the mail. Uh, one paratrooper. This is uh, probably turn into either a friction folder or a uh, hidden tang. Here's my other little neck knife. These are really comfortable, I like it. Put some jimping on there. And here's my uh, recluse. That's what I'm calling a recluse. Named after a spider, brown recluse. A uh, very poisonous spider. And I believe um, if it bites you, it starts decaying your skin. But the palm swell is just a bit too big. That'd be perfect for a large hand. But I'll clean that up a little bit. There you can see that's my other recluse. 
uh, still there from tracing it out. Well, this is a nice chopping blade, very heavy duty, 3 16 inch thick, very heavy, that's probably almost 2 pounds, mm, pound and a half, it'll probably go down to a pound, but very forward heavy, blade heavy, good chopping knife. Uh, the rest is scrap. So, I don't know what I can be, make out of this. Make another hidden tang. Just do a nice EDC blade. Just trace that out and then hidden tang it. Chop it off, like right there. Make a hidden tang on that one. This one right here, use this part for a small blade, and then chop it off right here, thin it out and make it hidden tang. It's like a little paring knife. That's what it'll look like. Cut the tip off a little bit. Uh I'm not sure what I can do with this, but it's big enough not to let it go. So I don't know, a little necker or a keychain tool. Mm. Another little keychain neck knife, something. No, it's three sixteenths. Just pieces of scrap that I don't want to waste. It might sit around for a little while, but if a brainstorm comes to me, I might think of something to do with it. A little paring knife, style, hidden blank, or hidden tang. Turn it into a blank, and same thing with this one. So that's my box of awesomeness. It's a lot of work, especially because I don't work uh, like 100% of the time I should be working on it. Even if I do have spare time, I, I have other hobbies and stuff I like to do as well. This one will look good. You can see where my mark was. This is all done with a, a plasma cutter. So yeah, just have to clean up a little bit. These will look good. These ones turn out pretty good. Big game skinners. I'd like to do um, some bone scales on this one. Or at least one of these. It's a lot of steel, and I still got some left over. Just, I always leave some left over just in case I have a someone say, I've had a brainstorm, I'd like this, this knife, can you help me out? Design it a little bit better and put it on steel, put it on paper, and we'll see what it looks like in the end. Once it's on steel. But I'm really looking forward to this one. Might make another one of these. This one's gonna look sweet. Just one of those things where you quickly draw something up just to fill in space and it's like, whoa, that actually looks pretty good. And if it feels comfortable without a handle on it, you'll know it'll be a good fit for your hand. <laughs> so yeah, lots of work ahead of me. Uh, one other thing, I'm working on a uh, gear bashing channel, so I can have a place to send people on YouTube to look at prices for my knives. I might make a few videos just saying knife sale or whatever, but I'd rather have a place where you can go to and then buy it right there right away instead of just talking over YouTube. But thanks for watching, Newton Knives.